Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Sunday, and we need to talk. We need to talk about a couple things here. Specifically, some of the recent ongoings about some posts here that happened on uh, Reddit, of all places, actually. And it actually resonates very... Very true, it actually was one of the reasons, one of the reasons why I actually didn't stream last night on Saturday. One of the other reasons was I just needed to kind of relax, but at the same time, there was a Reddit thread called Twitch is your hobby, not your future. And it's, an, it's actually an okay post. It's one of those kind of like hard truths. But at the same time, it's the, you know, it's overly harsh. Where, or no, it's it's not overly harsh. How to say this? It's a hard truth that went a little too far. Obviously, it's this person's opinions. The name's, his username is Bash Striker on Reddit. And he says something very, very true. Um, if you actually look at Twitch Tracker, there are 5.8 million unique streams per month and currently 45,000 partners. Now, there are a lot of partners who can't pay the bills with Twitch, but let's assume all, uh, they all can. That's 0.007% uh, of all streamers who are partners. Obviously, that's not completely correct. Obviously, statistics, Twitch Tracker has not existed, uh, did not come into existence in, until 2016. So there's obviously some statistics missing. But effectively, he's right, is that Twitch as a platform, ironically enough, I'm speaking on Twitch, is actually overall a very small website. But the reason why a lot of people gravitate to Twitch and what they did originally was, well, this was the, this was the website for people to play games. And that's, for the most part, is actually what most people actually do. They still play games. That's what I've been doing for the past for, uh, for the past five years is primarily play games. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. But he's right about one thing, is when you actually try and make streaming or even content creation your job, the actual chances, and even my personal aspirations, of wanting to actually create guides about streaming to help people who actually want to stream and be content creators and such, even I find that extremely difficult to actually achieve. It's, if anything, probably the biggest... It's, it's not the biggest struggle, actually. If anything, I find it to be just as difficult as it is as a person trying to basically get a career in today's day and age just because of how broken the job market has been. And... The reason why you probably have so many people actually striving for it, you know, obviously some people will be doing it, like, for the money. Some people will be doing it for the fame. But there's a lot of people out there who are actually either doing it either as a hobby or they're trying to actually build up that portfolio. Even that's what I'm trying to do, actually, is so I can actually say, hey, I'm a professional not simply as streaming, but just as a content creator, as an entertainer, and to actually build myself up. Basically, what I think a lot of people have a, have a hard time doing is actually creating a place for them where they can actually be themselves and build a platform off of that. And even though, you know, it's a stacked deck, I would actually agree with most people that it's very unrealistic to spend your time grinding on Twitch, which is brings me to my personal point here. You shouldn't be streaming every day. I love streaming every day, actually. I really do like, like, the end of my day. It's very stressful. I want to be able to play games and relax. But the reality is, though... I need to be dedicating more dedicating more time 
towards trying to make unique content. Build an actual platform on other websites, be able to rip off that mask confidently, which I'm still dealing with. It's actually just simply being camera shy. And hope that some way through this content creation of actually being that guide for streamers in all capacities. And I find that to actually just simply even being doing things like video editing, that's difficult. Writing a script, that's difficult. You know, we problem with the job market is basically everyone wants a portfolio, but the biggest problem is every single job has been compacted from what would have been a single person doing something into a single person doing five or six jobs in one. You know, it's the insanity of actually of any person who actually attempted to be a YouTuber. And in fact, you technically still have to strive to be a YouTuber nowadays. Even if you don't actually have any desires of making it big on YouTube, if you want to be able to show your employer a portfolio, they're not going to care about your education anymore. They are going to care about what they can actually see and if you can generate profit from it. They want to see the numbers. They want to see the awards and they want to see the numbers. They don't care so much about certifications or education anymore, which makes it even more disheartening because you can bust your butt going back to school over and over again, but there's only so much time you can actually spend in education when it's actually, believe it or not, an employer's job to actually get them used to the work environment. They're not supposed to be completely trial by fire. You know, we used to have these things called apprenticeships. You know, internships, to a point, have a purpose, but at the same time, it's very much exploitable, or it has been exploited. But I think what I might try and do now is that if I'm not working on myself, in other words, building up my own portfolio, building up my own, you know, creating my own videos and such, because I basically have to learn how to do video editing, script writing, most of my day. Woke up late, wasn't able to sleep last night, went out, exercised. The moment I got home, I didn't even eat until dinner. I literally was working on a script on Voice Meter Banana, the mixer software I actually use. I even wrote a guide of it on my website. Not a great guide. I personally actually want to rewrite it, but I realize I can't get too hung up on it, but I still need to make a video on it because websites can't exactly be monetized. Websites, if anything, in this day and age are a loss. They're a loss leader, basically. You want to be able to have a place where you can actually show... You need to show... It's like I'm trying to do so many things at once. I need my website to basically be a place where I can show my portfolio, but at the same time, be a place where I can actually show people, hey, this is my content, and obviously it'll lead to your probably what would actually be your main website, which would be YouTube. And I think that's really the big transition, is that... People are looking for platforms that are monetizable, where they can actually generate some sort of revenue, which I think is why streaming is so attractive to a lot of people is simply because the barrier to entry to actually be a streamer is so much lower. But the fact remains, though, that without any reasonable discoverability options, Poor categorization because Twitch is not, not even really about video games anymore. It's about everything. Um, you're no longer looking for a person based on their video game anymore. You're going to be looking for it by who has the most viewers. So effectively, we're in a numbers game now. That's your only real discoverability on Twitch is how many numbers do you have and... In relation to your numbers, are you streaming a category that if people are browsing by game... They're going to notice you. You know, I think a good example here, you know, believe it or not, I'm actually part of that. As strange as it's like by statistics here, I think was it my numbers here. Actually, I want to take a look here. I can actually take a look at my Twitch tracker here. 
and Twitch Tracker actually gives you a rank. And it's obviously not going to tell you, like, if you're part of the 1% or not. But it's like, my rank here is 278,582. And I only average about 3 to 5 users a night. That is... Insignificant. It is completely non-existent. And... Obviously, you're not going to be able to make a career of that. Especially for how much money it is and how much time you actually put in. But the problem is, and the reason why people put this time in, is because actually trying to get an actual job in this day and age, and never mind the fact that this pandemic has lost all its value. You know, half of the jobs out there are paid less than $15. No, pay less. Yeah, pay less than $15 an hour. That's not even a living wage anymore. Inflation has absolutely, you know, what used to be a fight. You laughed about it in 2015. People were fighting for a $15, you know, wage there, where that was just barely on the cusp where you could say that could actually be a living wage. It's not a living wage anymore. Inflation has decimated that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be a little more selective with streaming. I'm going to be a little bit smarter with where I put my time when I actually play games and the type of content I actually need to create to try and create the portfolio. And this even applies to actual streaming. It's like I even am trying to think, how can I convert streaming into something that's more than just simply playing video games? Because obviously it's not working anymore. And I think the hard part about that is how bad of a platform, and, th and this applies to live streaming in general. Live streaming in general, unfortunately, has not gone past reaction. Even the biggest names who were able to build off a reputation, and we're talking like, if they're not streaming, that is literally like 3% of the entire Twitch traffic basically gone. And that 3% obviously is like, we're talking, you know, tens of thousands of people here. You know, even those streamers, they're basically now simply doing exactly what YouTube did with all the reaction girl videos. I'm just going to sit on my duff. I'm just going to stare at a camera and watch this YouTube video and let everyone else watch with me. It is, it's extremely poor content. You know, even, like, people who used to be, like, over-the-top reactions and stuff, it's like, now they're just simply sitting, eating their lunch. And now they're posting those videos on YouTube. Which is kind of a problem, because that's kind of the same problem that, uh, Facebook pulled when, uh, was it, uh, College Humor. They basically, you know, promised them the moon and the stars there. And they basically freebooted, you know, like when people were basically freebooting content or made reaction videos and such. And to a point, it can be fair use, giving, co giving commentary or criticism. But I think there's even a line, though, it's like when your person's basically eating, eating their lunch. And not even really, and have stayed silent the entire time. Instead of actually doing some sort of analysis or proper critique or giving a background on the information. Because trying to do, and obviously a lot of those streamers and stuff, if they're, we're talking the, the one per, the point zero zero one percent here, those partners there, they've already got all the money in the world. They basically either hire people to do their job or they don't even have to do, do any, they don't even have to pay anything because basically they have friends do it. They have it do it for them. And that's kind of like the ugly truth about, you know, the top 1% of Twitch is the actual performers themselves, even with their lazy, they're still succeeding. And they're going to stay that way because it's a lot harder for a person who's wealthy to become poor than for a poor person to become wealthy. But I'm going to be a little more selective with my streaming. Might actually get into more of a schedule. We'll say like, hey, this day, this day, this day. Um, instead of every night. 
And so that'll actually hopefully give me more time to focus on applying for jobs and actually try and actually get into the practice of figuring out how to write a, learn script writing actually i think that's what i really need to do um for videos that is honestly probably my biggest problem and be able to create a website where i can actually show my portfolio and show potential employers when i apply for jobs that i have you know these skill sets here For now, though, I think that's going to do it for the rant there. I think, I honestly encourage anyone who actually is really thinking about making streaming into a career to understand that it's a much bigger endeavor than you think it actually is, and they should actually read it. And they actually, and it's perfectly fine to actually feel disheartened about reading it. Because unless you were grandfathered into it, you got into Twitch at the day one or you have an existing fan base then you should understand that you can't just make Twitch your career. You can't just simply become big on Twitch by streaming on Twitch. You have to actually have a business plan, learn how to make content, learn how to make it consistently be consistent with it we're not it doesn't even have to be once a day it could literally i would actually recommend most people if you're really starting out try and do it bi-weekly a bi-weekly content creation on youtube take your twitch video you know take your streams that you record make spend some time immediately after you finish streaming to make some you know, don't just take Twitch's clips because that's actually not good for your uh, for your Twitter uh, analytics. Take the time and actually make your own clips. Add some innovation to them. Make some, uh, you know, make it a little bit more compelling. It'll actually let you learn additional skills to actually create more compelling content. Because as you become more adept at it, I mean, one thing I've actually, ironically enough, have actually become skilled at is making GIFs. And now I know how to actually put together GIFs from video game sprites. Never thought I'd have that skill, but thanks, I now know how to use, do that using GIMP. I'm now learning how to make thumbnails thanks to actual the people I want to actually emulate, which is now, which is Sam Woodhall and uh, Harris Heller. Because I've been moderating for f over five years. I think I've been moderating for maybe six, seven years now. Probably longer. And I have a lot to actually say about it. If anything, I might actually start going to the path of Devin Nash and just spend the time streaming, doing a just chatting, and talking about what people need to know about streaming. Basically, I'm saying I'm willing to become a, um, a Rush Limbaugh. Become one of those talking heads. There. But, for now though, I think I'm going to end it here. We're going to play a little bit of Fall Guys here to kind of relax ourselves. Because it's been a long day. I got most of the script written out. Some of the videos edited. But I still have a long way to go. And, actually, the other reason I actually didn't get to play a lot... Well, oddly enough... Hey, guess what? This game did not, um... This game did not... Do I not have the right game selected? I thought I didn't... Oh, I played Fight and Rage last. My mistake. One of the other reasons was, well... Apparently with Fall Guys... If you notice my, get my name, it's, it's not there anymore. I'm Fall Guys 1792. Yeah, they apparently people. I mean, I actually made a video about this. Um, just a Twitter clip where I was confused why a person actually had a colored name and why their name was bigger. Apparently, you can convert your name to HTML in Steam, and that actually—I don't know why it worked. It 
I'm gonna guess this is obviously the most programming to made. Uh, apparently, that actually allowed you to adjust your name. So, yeah. That, that, that's a thing. Rainy day. Yeah, let's buy it. Oh, Robot Master. Let's do that. And let's equip it, actually. If we win, we can see Robot Master. Uh, yeah, you don't... Do we want the toucan? That big... Man, someone made gigantic lips on this toucan. Hmm, I think we might want to hold it. I, I, here's one thing I'm upset about. I only have eight hours now to actually get five crowns for the jacket. And this... That's gonna be really difficult. Hey, Eviet, how you doing tonight? How have you been? I don't believe I've seen you before here. How has your weekend been? Hopefully it's been productive. I, for one, have, gain have gained a bit of perspective. Which, ironically enough, tells me to stream less. Because I am not part of that 0.001%. Eva Q. Ah, you changed your name. Oh. Really? I'm... Since... Yeah, you... That was... Less than a week ago. That was less than a week ago. That was very much less than a week ago. What happened? Just not happy about it, or...? Man, I can't wait for the names to come back so I can actually be irate against these other players. Welcome back, Eva Gyu. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, I apologize. Why am I on the ground? Rolling like a jelly bean. So why'd you change the name? Nice and easy. Why the name changes like that? So the name changes in Fall Guys is because apparently people were able to change their names on Steam using HTML coding and that apparently actually adjusted their names. So there were some people who actually had massive gigantic names or they made them different colors and because of that, they kind of had to suspend it. I actually, on my Twitter feed, I actually made a clip about that. Where I was confused of why this person had a, um... Uh, had a, a different color text and his name was larger than everyone else's. Yeah, that's why. So you're able to change your Steam name. Because obviously, it's like, you don't want... Not everyone got their account name. And thankfully, one thing I love, and I like Discord for this as well to a point, and I wish more companies would actually do that, is you have a display name, and then you have your account name. Because obviously not everyone's always going to like their actual um, account name. So it can kind of, you know, it can kind of suck, honestly. So it can kind of suck, basically, that you're actually, um... Nah, they, 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 they can't stop it. It's too many. You also got tired of the name. That was your reason for changing the name? That's understandable. I think, if anything, it's a lot harder for people to actually... ...decide what to do with their names. I think that's primarily because online anonymity 
is basically gone. And it's harder for people, like, it's, it, like, we're basically kind of, I think to a point where most we might actually be going full circle on this, but I think when it comes to, like, online content creation now and such, it's no longer you can build off by your username, you have to just put your face out there. Which is a little, inti which is honestly extremely intimidating. Why are we always... You know, I'm gonna make a critique about this game. I I feel like this game doesn't know what it's doing. Like, there's gotta be some patch changes here. Look at this. This is this is ridiculous. I all right, all right. We're all playing Fall Mountain. This is what it used to be like. Uh, I'm actually surprised. This is round three. Nope. Please don't. Ah, oh, this guy knows what to do. I'm not gonna win just because he's in front of me. Oh, come on! No! Ah, oh, damn it. Nope. Also, there's hackers in this game already. I don't think this guy was a hacker, but I'd like to know how he got that boost of speed. That was so close, too. Oh. Like, I I don't know why. Like, I get it. The whole point about the, this game is meant to be janky. Still sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, but signing on a name. It's always going to be difficult. I think I might do though, after this stream. I'm actually gonna play a little bit with my voice me um with voice meter banana, which is my virtual mixer, and actually mess around with the microphone part. I need to see though if I can actually get that to work with um voice meter, uh not voice meter voice mod. Probably should have bought all these outfits, but I haven't been playing anywhere near enough to actually warrant being able to buy all these costumes. Nope, oh, nope. Ah, oh. Oh, come on, you goofballs. See, I just like being a jelly bean. Ah, that's my joy. Just be the jelly bean. At least until a robot skin comes out. Darn it. I should have just ran backwards first. Oh well. Oh! No. Well, I made it. Somehow. I'll find a costume one day I actually enjoy to wear. I think of anything, the rotation for all the legendary items are... are a little small, that window, because, like, three days. I really hope they create a rotation, and they actually show, like, hey, here's a rotation. So, like, I think one problem I have with a lot of these type of games where it's, like, they want to put you the pressure, like, the battle pass thing. They need to give people, like, some... Obviously, you want people to, like, play your game, but at the same time, you kind of need to give people a breather. Or at least know, hey, these skins are going to be up or available on this day. So that when people actually feel like they want to get that, they can plan ahead. Instead of fe constantly feeling compelled like they have to play every single day. Oh, time for a scramble.
Maybe I should do Tuesday, Thursday. I think Tuesday, Thursday actually would be good streaming days. I think the problem is I just need to figure out what to do with my content. I don't even know what I'm grabbing here. I'm, I'm grabbing something. I have grabbed nothing. I just want to grab an egg. going on here I let me go <sighs> my own teammates I have no core with you red the eggs <sighs> there's, there's no one to wait for you're lost hey how's it going Newton yeah no nobody knows how to play this game a scramble is a scrambles the worst it's nobody knows how to ever play freaking play this game at all they really don't it's like, it's, it's such a minority of people who actually know how to play this game. A minority of people who actually know how to defend their nest, at the same time how to actually get eggs out of the nest. I feel like this is a game that needs to be altered heavily. I, I, I'm not a fan of that game anymore. I like it in concept, but the execution is severely lacking. Because, like, what do you do? You just pick on the weak one. Spent the day playing Fall Guys. Went to of my streamer friends. Nice. Well, I hope you had fun playing uh, Fall Guys. I haven't. I honestly haven't played Fall Guys. Like, I barely played Fall Guys this weekend. I'm trying to think what other games I want to actually. Was it? I just reading that whole Twitch is your hobby, not your career. Kind of really did a number on me on the Twitch uh, subreddit. Because the poster's right. That's kind of like the hard, type of hard truths I lay down. And I realize, like, the type of content I want to create and the type of profile I want to build for myself, I'm not... I'm not making that type of content. At all. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I saw, what's it? Uh, I guess you're a flamingo on Twitter. With the tail, uh, the tail tag. Which was really, which was actually really good. Alright, fine. Wait. No! Ah, oh, come on. Um, <sighs> goofiness! But yeah, that was honestly amazing. Ah, darn it. I'm done. I'm gonna try it again. Nope, guess not. Fine. Safety strats. We'll do it the old fashioned way. You got an epic save on the lava. Oh, slime climb. Slime climb is honestly like I'd say that's actually probably one of their best games. But like, clearly they they're going for two demographics. There's the demographics of basically people who really don't play games as a hobby, which is why it needs to be that easy, versus a demographic that are 
actually extremely competent with these type of games and could actually be actually could use a major challenge. By save, I do not know how many shall you fall off. Hey man, I'm surprised you even used the trampoline. I can't use those trampolines with crap. I kind of avoid them. Although I will say this, I would love to have a trampoline race map. I'm just saying. If they actually, some, if the platforming actually works in this game, and I know it's not supposed to, because we're all supposed to be extremely goofy characters who don't actually know how to run or jump. I mean, because let's be honest, look at look at these characters. They're all a bunch of jelly beans here. Imagine imagine these guys with longer legs. Everyone just wants to run around like a mad person. You do what you can. Oh, really? Ten people already? Oh, I'm glad I didn't hit that. See, like, I see this being, like, a whole lot faster and then being a lot more chaotic, but 12 people have already been eliminated here. That's a bit of a surprise. Oh, no. Let go of me. All these grabbers are trying to learn how to throw. They're becoming masters at it. And that's what actually worries me. This is supposed to be as jank as jank can be. <laughs> now that I envy people who are actually able to, like, play this game with their friends and such. But reading that whole Twitch is your hobby, not a career really is having me think of where I'm actually putting my time with streaming. It really is. Like, I really do... I hate the fact that I actually need to really learn all these different skill sets. Like, I basically need to be a one-man studio, and that's the thing that's killing me. Is I need to learn how to write a script, I need to learn how to actually read off a teleprompter, I need to learn how to actually edit an entire video, make it compelling to actually for people who actually want to watch, and produce content at a consistent rate. That's extremely insane. This is just a lot of pressure, honestly. Like, I'm starting to realize, like, to try and outsource some things, I realized, like, I can't build an effective website. So I need to contract someone to actually do that. I need to actually invest in myself, which honestly is probably actually the big takeaway from that whole thing is... You need to learn to invest in... In yourself, but... It still comes down to... Value. And getting other people to recognize that you have value. And unfortunately, there aren't... Like, the ways that people can actually make become financially stable are decreasing. Which is a real... Struggle! Oh, no! Nope. Takes too long to... to took too long to recover. That's a shame. That is a shame. Pirate Jig. That's a damn shame. The luck of the new of Newton. Here, hang on a second. Hang on a second. We can we can do a thing here. We can do a thing. Is this Jassix? I guess this is a friend of yours. Let's take a little looky later here, sure, shall we? Yeah. 
See, I don't like... I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of webcams. I'm not a fan of webcams. And I've realized a problem here. Here, look. Boo. You can see my room. There you go. It's all there. Close. There you go. Nice job. Nice job, man. I was messing around with webcams. That's the reason why, actually, I left that uh, source on. Because using window capture for your uh, browsers is not a good idea. I can tell you that much. Yeah, that was... that. That's kind of like what happened to me when, uh, was it, John streamed this game. Like, I barely made it. I was surprised I even got the win on, what was it, um... Jump Showdown. Which I guess they removed. Because nobody I know who's played this game has gotten Jump Showdown. I think the problem I have with webcams is basically half of the time, if you're playing the game, you're not making any sort of emotion. You are dead set, staring blankly into the void, waiting for that one reaction. Personally, that's why I'm like not exactly a huge fan of it. I, I can't even jump here. Oh, this is terrible. Alright. Place your bets. DoorDash is honestly just silly fun. It's always the worst when the doors are, like, actually blocking you. Like, they don't slow you down until you actually run into another person. And then it becomes a problem. I'll be honest though, I kind of would love to actually have the doors be... have the eyes... Uh, signal if they work or not, kind of like their original trailers. Like, I actually do hope they give cosmetic upgrades... ...to a lot of this, uh, to a lot of things in this game. Like, th these are all perfectly functional. But they can make them better. And I hope they actually make those changes. Like, there's a lot about this game that could easily be improved on. And I should actually make a video saying... ...how to improve... ...Fall Guys. Hey, how's it going, Freezer Brawler? This game is so delightfully dumb. Yes, yes it is. I can see through the side of the doors even when I'm playing Guessing. Wait, you can... you... there's a tell? Are you actually suggesting, Newton, that there is a tell to see which doors are actually sealed and which ones are real? I did not. I did not jump far enough. Hey, how's it going, pretty of time? Man, I... You know, this is the perfect uh, case against, like, why you should actually have a, um... <gasps> oh, no! Alright, I guess I'm going this way. Been good playing a lot of EDF 5. Oh, nice. Oh my god, please, people. Just stop pumping into things. I should have dived. I should have dived. Well, okay, what's the FCR for then? What was it? Freeze? Freeze Brawler? F Zero Brawling. I'm sorry, nobody's gonna get F Zero from that. In terms of name association.
I get it, I just take Brawler. Yeah, that, that makes sense, honestly. You look to see the small opening on the side, on the sides of the door? How the... How? Wait, so not the middle, but the sides. Yeah, no, there's no way I can tell that there's actually a, um... Yeah, I, I don't see that. You know what? What? I... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I... Nope, 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 that... No, I, I, I don't see that working, honestly. Like, clearly, the one on the left has a gap. The one on the, on the left had a gap there at the end, and that wasn't the right door. Yeah, I, I don't think that's how it works, honestly, Newton. Like, a higher resolution, I mean, the only resolution that's higher is, was it, 1440p and then 4K? Or basically, was it, uh, 2880? The only reason freaking marketers made, labeled it 4K was... They're goddamn marketers, they need to make it sound more impressive. Which is really dumb. Because when it comes down to actually making the sale, uh, you kind of being actually a good salesperson is actually a lot harder. How? Come on, where's the cherries and apples here? It's a gut feeling. Okay. Well, I'm not a fan of. I'm not too much of a fan of gut feelings. Cherries. I'm gonna guess poorly. Watermelon, banana, orange, apple, orange, apple, banana, here, perfect. Watermelon, was it? orange, apple, banana. Okay. Watermelon. Let's see. Well, it's not going to be apple. It's probably gonna be grape from the look of this. It might be banana. No, it's definitely not gonna be banana. It could be orange. It's apple. That's actually a surprise. <gasps> I almost got pushed off there. That was a lot of casualties. That was a lot of eliminations from that. That's the highest I've seen being eliminated in this game in a long time. And sadly, by a long time, I mean a week. I'm trying to even think if there's going to be, like, some huge new game coming out this week. Go with the leaps! Nothing made it. Ah, oh, come on, I got pushed. Well, that's an easy answer. Move it! Still time for everyone to screw up. Still time. Nope. It's left. It's forward. Into success. See, F-Zero Brawler, here, here's my approach to it. Just take your risks early. 
And by the time you get back... Because everyone's too afraid about this one. The, the, like, it's a good game, but at the same time, it's not a great game. Like, I think most people would rather have a super long labyrinth to go through than to actually deal with that. Especially since when only so many people can qualify. Because you're not really, you're relying on other people to actually be the sheep for you. Also, I just realized this is going to be like a 4v5. Yeah, it's a 4v5. I, 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 I need less fall ball in my life. This is... I'm playing the defender. Ah, come on. There you go. Where is it? There you go. Watch that over. Stay off of my side, card. Hit it. Oh, nope, this guy's 2002's got it. Or maybe not. What? Where'd this one come from? Get this ball out of my side of the court. It's on the wrong side of the pitch. I feel bad, but at the same time, it, it, I mean, it is for the, um... I completely screwed that up. I completely screwed that up for the entire team. I prefer for one of the team games come actively doing something. True, like, I like tail Team Tail Tag. Team Tail Tag is really good. Like, that, for all the latency issues and such, that one is actually a good mini game. It's some of the others. Rock and Roll is also a good one. Rock and Roll is is also a really good uh, mini game. What? Where'd the goalie go? Well, this is a problem. No! No! <laughs> Self scarring. Well, there's the football. And did makes the goal. But I agree with you, like, I actually like some of the team games. Some of the others, though, not so much. Like, I don't like Royal Fumble. I really don't. Because when it comes to latency, some people will just grab your tail half, like, two... You know, two tails lengths away, and they have your tail. Like, and we're doing it because there's less than five people. Like, this is honestly probably my least favorite of all the of all the games. Also, I don't know who has the tail. He has it. Never mind. Oh, nope, he got it back. But I'm glad a lot of people actually enjoyed this game. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, come on, you had him. Ah, oh, come on. Like, I just wish, like, oddly enough, I hate to say it, but yeah, I think you should be slower with the, um, with the tail. Mine! And now we run for my life for a minute. Ah, see, that's the problem!
Like, this can be silly. But, like, kind of wish you were just slower, or maybe it's, like, some other way to move faster. Come on. Nope, he's got it. Unless. No! Oh, I didn't, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Like, most of the time it's just fumbling around. Honestly, the hammers aren't so bad. I'd actually say I'd rather have the hammer. People can get out of bounds. Oh, I didn't know that, but... Like, that problem is just the latency. Like, even when I had the tail, I had it for less than a second, and a person was able to... On my screen, it looked like the person was still getting up, which you can't grab and get up, but... In his world, he was already up, and he was able to grab the tail. That kind of sucks. You know, and that's something you kind of have to kind of accept is there's always going to be a latency. Wait, Marth grab- wait, what do you mean by Marth grab range? I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. I mean, back in Melee, I used to play Marth, but I never knew about some long grab. Was there an exploit? He just... What version? I mean, like, I... I pretty much dropped Marth at Brawl. I never actually got the Wii U version. So I never actually, um... On that Mars Grab in Melee is longer than Yoshi's. Oh. I had to think about the first I was like, well, like, yeah, of course, his hands. Oh wait, no, Yoshi grabs with his tongue. It's it's been a while since I've played Melee. <laughs> huh, I never knew that. That's a That's a good length of her grab. I mean, granted, with Marth, though, I mean, then again, when I played it, I wasn't part of some sort of esports and such. It's like, when people, when people played it when the game was released, they were actually having fun with it. They weren't rage quitting. Or apparently throwing crabs at people in a freaking stadium event. Personally, I'm, I'm honestly, I, I know somewhere in the world Melee is still alive, but I'm glad now that Ultimate has come out, it more or less now is finally, finally in the grave. And I'm perfectly fine with saying that, knowing the fact there were probably some people who made playing that game I'm their bad. career. I am perfectly fine by saying that, because... When it comes to longevity in terms of career... Oh, this is just gonna turn out bad for me, isn't it? Yep, it's just gonna be bad, isn't it? People paying melee more than ever... Oh, not more than ever, than ever because someone made a rollback netcode for it. Wow. Well, that's impressive. I mean, it's kind of like Parsec. It was a- it honestly was about time someone actually created a, um... A code that let people actually connect to other people's computers and do it effectively. And I'm fairly confident Steam pretty much probably just forked 
that person's netcode and just integrate it into Steam. Well, good for them, but they're not gonna make a... Like, if people enjoy the game, great. Awesome. Clearly, they're emulating it. And because I think, if anything, more games kind of have to be online, whether you like it or not. And it's really unfortunate because we've kind of lost an outright, uh, the entire local scene. There are so many hoops. All right, that worked. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, you're not gonna get that. That's mine. That is my hoop. <laughs> we all failed. Oh my god, there's so many hoops. So many hoops. Go blue team. I will find out the pacing for this game. I, why did he go for that one? Whoop. Oh, that's the golden ring. Can blue team get it? Yes, blue team got it. Where the heck are all the hoops? Where are all the hoops? Oh, it's that one. Nobody can ever get... Nope, oh, nope. Someone actually got it. I'm surprised. There were two rings there. What? Oh, okay. So you can only... Yeah, okay. I've learned something today. You can only get one ring. It's still anybody's game. I can actually find some hoops. Oh, what's in oh no! I'm g Damn it! Well, we didn't win, but still. We survived, and that's what matters. But yeah, more games need to be online. Just in general. And it's good that someone made something like Parsec and Steam has it, but... It's not as effective as actually putting actual netcode in your game. Because from my personal experience of using Steam Remote Play, and even Parsec, it was not a good experience. And I feel like... It's the same problem with Stadia. Stadia, by concept, is actually a, a reasonable idea. The problem is, though... The entire United States is crumbling infrastructure and no private enterprise or government wants to put down the money to actually improve the damn thing. You know, it's, it's, you're basically using, like, you know, the, the reason why the United States is the crumbling infrastructure is basically we're relying on, was it, 40 years of infrastructure What the heck? Ah, oh, come on. Just... Can I not jump and dive? Thank you. Well, there's no way to get that one. Yeah, that's how you do it. Nope. It's that. Eliza, just take risks on this one. And it might actually just pay off. And we're probably going to do another Royal Fumble again. Because there's only six people. I hate Royal Fumble. See, that's actually... If, like, if I am going to have, like, a camera on me, I would actually probably just have a character. And even then, to me... Because I have all my audio sources segregated on OBS... 
I actually like the fact that I could actually just take my gameplay footage and make it into content. I can make little clips on Twitter. And I am the sucker with the tail. This is absolutely terrible. Alright. Let's see if I can actually be good at this. Hi there, how's it going, buddy? Playing it high. Uh-oh. That's the problem. What? How? The dull seam grabs. What? That was in mid. I was grabbing you. of the climb animation. Oh god, I don't even know which direction this is going. What? Ah, fine. Well, this is a problem. This is a severe problem. Gordon Freeman! He won it. Oh, like, he literally won it. Yep, he definitely won it. Or not! No! Come on! Well, at least I get to look what the robotic dance looks like. Oh, he actually stays on the platform. That's surprising. I was honestly expecting a claw to come out and drop him. Oh, I hate Royal Fumble. You know, I'm gonna say this right now. I think the only good final games they had, or they have, are Hexagon and they got rid of it, which I think they should bring it back, is Jump Showdown. Those, to me, were their actual two good ones. Fall Mountain... There's a path on Fall Mountain that... Like, if you stick onto the right path of Fall Mountain, it is the easiest path to actually ascend. Because you don't even... You can avoid the hammers. It's kind of the same issue with, was it, Hit Parade at the end? A lot of the bumpers you basically just get to ignore. Just hang on the very edge and you won't hit them. And I think it's the problem. It's like, do you want this game to be approachable? Or do you want this game to actually be a little bit more hardcore? And it's clear, like, there's two groups. Like, I enjoy playing this game. This game is absolutely fun to play. But I want... I want... How to put it? I'm trying to think of a good game show to compare. Like something that's extremely simple. Like there's a group that basically is, we're, we were given Wipeout and there are people who want American Ninja. And that to me is what I want. I want American Ninja. Or Ninja Warrior, I should say. Not American Ninja. What the? Damn trippin'. Oh, so that's how this works. I honestly thought those like moving platforms at the bottom as well.
That's actually like one of the few times I've actually been down there. But yeah, I still think developers need to make their own netcode. I'm personally surprised, like, there hasn't been... And obviously, I don't know how hard programming is, despite me trying to learn. And I think that's the other issue, is, like, I'm trying to do so many things at once. But game developers still need to create, like, their own netcode for their game still. I'm surprised, like, there hasn't been some sort of universal code. It's like, here, just plug and play. It'll work. Trust me. But it's programming. I'm sure someone screws it up along the way. At least most people here have actually been enjoying um, Fall Guys. Let's make things silly. But yeah, I think I might change my content. It might just actually be just chatting. As strange as that sounds, because that's like the only thing that really actually matters on Twitch anymore. Is just chatting. It's weird to say, too. Oh, oh now the flow's against us. Ah, darn it, it helped him out. Are the people really good at defending or really bad at it? And I can't tell which, given the situation. No! Oh. Ah, stupid reds. Uh-oh, we got a game now. Oh! All the yellow team's gone now. Just, just trying to stay, just trying to stay in the center here. Just in case they try and roll him out, I can hit him back in. Oh, I can totally screw it up. But you're right, F-Zero Brawler, you definitely do get a lot more interactivity with the uh, team games. But as long as this game, like, I think the biggest struggle was, I think they set Season 1 to last for 60 days. That's a... I hate to say it, but that's, like, we're such a time-crunched industry now. It's so horrible to actually say that, but we are. that it actually might need a faster development cycle. I personally wish, like, things could actually just slow down. Uh, well, at least we solved that mystery. <laughs> I don't know where that flub came from, but that, that was a flub. Get out of my way. It's at the end. It's at the end. Oh, I'm eliminated. I'm eliminated. Yeah, no, there's no way. I'm literally the dead last. Yeah. I got pushed off the edge. That sucked. Like, it feels weird. I want to make video game content, but the last thing I actually have time to do is play video games. I think it's better for me just to be a commentator than anything else. But the problem, of course, is it's hard to just get established. And it's hard to get people to actually validate what you actually do as an occupation.
Because, like, even to this day, like... Everyone has to be a one-man studio. And if you... And, like, I, I honestly envy... Like, if anything, I, I actually envy people who have, like, a group of friends. Who can actually collaborate. Work well together. I'm gonna fall off, because I'm... Just getting hit and pummeled by everyone else. Wow, I'm... Alright. This is how this game wants to play. This is gonna be an interesting group of people. Um... I... Yes, I can. Alright. Well, we jumped a good length. Ah, shoot. Oh, well, at least I'm by myself here. Oh, no! I don't know how I screwed that up, but I did. It, it happened, and it was terrible. Why is it always the pink? It's always the pink that actually can, like, over-tilt. Oh my god, please. Yeah, it's only the pink. <laughs> Love of god. There are more than 15 people ahead of me. I am not going to win. There's got to be some major screw-ups going on here. No, nope, we're fine. We're fine. No! There was a traitor. A traitor in our midst. And he wore an astronaut suit. Like, what I think I honestly need to do now is just stop scripting things and just start working off the cuff. I really think that's what I need to do for a lot of videos. Like, I just need to publish, like, throw it out there and see what hits. Because the biggest issue in terms of content creation is that you care so much that you end up not creating anything at all. It's like talking to your friends. The first thing you could do is, it's, it's not about, it's about silence. Actually, not communicating with them and actually saying hi. How's it going? And saying how you doing. Like, how you're really doing. Not the, I'm at a job that I couldn't care less. And so I'm just going to say, I'm fine. Which still, to this day, if you work in retail and anyone says fine, they're going to tell you it's basically the same, uh, the screw you. I, I have to be nice to you, but honestly, screw you. <laughs> that hot dog is doing Team Yellow's work. That hot dog is apparently a pro player. You can actually back off here. I am. All right, fine. I'm just totally going to screw up for my team. Oh, we have so many balls. Why are there seven balls? All right, we have all the balls. And I... I'm being pushed against the entire crowd. All right. Damn it, I missed. Oh! <laughs> I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh. 
But yeah, being able to actually convert all your content into something else is actually really nice. I think it's just because some people are, can be more reactionary than just give a dead stare. Or try to add something to the content. Which is why I think, honestly, at the end of the day, this is why, like, people, like... The reaction... Like, it actually, the sad part is, actually, the reaction streamers actually have the best chance, because all they're really doing is just consuming other people's content and giving their opinion. No matter how bad it actually might be. Oh, please, let me get up. And I think that's why, like, Twitch is, like, three years behind YouTube. At least in terms of content creation. But that's because live streaming isn't really going anywhere. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by a banana. Like, what was it? I was actually watching one of, um, Devin Nash, who's basically the talking head on Twitch. And he basically just, in since it's just his opinion, he basically just takes his content and posts it on YouTube. Like, even he commented about the whole, um... You know, Twitch is a hobby, not your career. And we are just getting... Like, this is the same... This is actually the same problem Beta had. Beta had the problem with this game that you kept doing multiple races, like, two races at the same time. If I asked for a refund on Steam, how long would it take? Um... There's sometimes a turnaround uh, time. Sometimes it's automatic. And it really depends on, like, what the rules... Um what you actually like first off is an easy is an easy refund if it's an easy refund like it's less than two hours it won't take that long i got pushed off the edge again simple answer not that long like if it's legitimate it's not that long if it's like for borderline reasons then it'll have a problem yeah we have to go that's not real, so that's another one. Nope, that's not it either. Let go of me. Shirk, it's this one. But I think, like, the only real thing is the, uh, pandemic. And... So it might take longer if it doesn't go under the automated system. And the automated system is pretty much, have you played the game for less than two hours? If yes, then refund. If not, then you need to give a damn good reason. And I mean a damn good reason. Like, credit card fraud reason. You know, so that level of fun stuff. But if it's under two hours and you just need to return a game, then yeah. I think, if anything, the reason I probably actually... I'm not... I'm actually, like, I actually was... It was a trade-off, honestly. Was it, um... The refund policy that Steam has. I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna follow up with that. Because... Some guy just wants to be a jerk. All right. I have no control over my character. That sucked. That really sucked. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Oh my god! Really? Alright! Alright! Time to be a jerk time! Time to be a jerk! Because... I... Wow, I got shoved down here... 
in the worst place possible. And if I can't have the ground, no one can. Okay. Alright. Kind of stop. As strange as it is. Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright. We're fine. I'm just gonna jump my way through. I apparently can't jump anymore. Oh, I'm... Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. Yep. Nope. There's no way. That hot dog. That hot dog killed me. See, I think, oddly enough, Hexagon is probably the most engaging. And yeah, at the same time, like, the most... You could win for the dumbest reason, but at the same time, you could win for being... Like, you could overthink that game. It's like, either a, a person can win by playing as stupidly as possible, or a person can win by playing incredibly intelligent, with a high level of, of execution. And because of that, you get, like, this weird mix around. It's like, for me, I'd rather just simply jump on the panels like Qbert, because that'll make things last as long as possible. But a good counter to that is, oh, I'm just going to run in front of you, and take all your tiles. So now you don't now you don't have any more tiles, so you're going to fall. So you're constantly going back and forth now between doing being trying to be passive versus or being as minimally active versus being incredibly active. Like I think Hexagon, oddly enough, is probably actually their best final. Like, if I wanted Fall Mountain, I want Fall Mountain to be much, much harder. And I mean a lot uh much more difficult. I do not see how you can determine the door. All right, so this should be the door. All right. So this one should be the door next. And then... Not seeing it, not seeing it. I missed it. I think it's just the way the map is made. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna test something. I'm gonna test... I, I apparently can't test anything. Alright. I am literally being pushed with the horde here. Yeah, but overall, like, what game are you trying to refund? Um, Eva yet. Like, was it a recent release or something? I'm just curious what game it was. Was it Fall Guys? I think the other part of makes that can actually make Twitch great is basically social activity. If you have a group of people, like the more people you have in terms of like GoCom and such, then you actually might have a more engaging stream. What are we doing here? We're doing bananas here. I feel like I made a mistake. No, I didn't. Okay. So many watermelons. There's some apples. Watermelon. Apple. Cherry. Orange. Okay. Watermelon. Apple. Cherry. Orange. We've got the L shape. The Tetris block shall not delete us to our victory. Alright. Bananas. One banana. Three bananas, definitely not the bananas. It's not the apples. 
Might be the oranges. Oranges or cherries is what I'm putting my money on. Bananas! Get me! That was rude. That was close. I'm trying to think here. Do I even have the hot dog outfit? I don't think I have a hot. I don't think I have the hot dog outfit yet, do I? I don't even think I have the chicken outfit. Yep, oh, time for slime climb. I think if anything, I might actually just get to level forty and. I think the one weird part about this game is like, well, if you want to actually get all these items, you need to actually get the actual crowns. It's man oh man getting these crowns are actually difficult. And it's like it's just a numbers game against people. Nope, I'm not going yet. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna learn my lesson from the last time I got pushed down the hole. Nice and easy. I swear, that used to be like the bane of this course. With those uh, cylindrical platforms. I'm surprised there's actually not more of them. Entire course at a slime. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of survivors here. Oh, some people are griefing. Some people are griefing. Who, who's down at the bottom? Well, he's definitely not. But I think he's a sole survivor now. Oh no. Can the doggo? Can the dog doggo get it? Yes, I can. But yeah, finding people to actually collaborate with to actually create content easily the most difficult thing because you've got to bring basically a trade. Like it's ironic actually that you had so many group channels and they're the ones who are falling apart versus like here's this one person and they're bigger than, you know, you know, they're bigger than everything. You know, your QXCs, basically. It's like... I don't even think actually it's getting to the point now where it's like it really is rules for a different set of people. Why are we so far away from our ball? Get pushing! Start the pushing! My, I'm not pushing the ball anymore. I'm too far ahead of it. Ah. There we go. We got it. Where's our team? Just jump. All you, all you gotta do is jump. Just jump. No! Arrgh, crap. Why are you grabbing me? Alright, fine. Take your ball. 
to push it this way now. No! No, there's so many people grabbing us. Nope, nope, nope. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> this is actually a lot more difficult than you think. Alright, fine. It's fine. Assume nope, we're, we're out. Nope. Three people can't freaking take out one person. <sighs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh no, I'm up to the hunter. Okay. Never mind, I actually apparently do have the chicken outfit if I want to wear it. But we're jelly bean for life. Jelly bean for life. That means I also have a hot dog then. That's right, I was waiting to actually get all the uh, legendary achievements and stuff all in a row. Like all the costume achievements done just instantly by getting all of them. Because what is it? Just one uncommon of everything, one rare of everything, and then one legendary of everything. Which I don't think they've released a um a pattern for the um I just realized I forgot to do something. Oh shoot. Well, I'm gonna have to take care of that after today's stream. Might actually cut it. Might actually cut tonight's stream a little early than the recent four hour streams I've been doing lately. I said, I, that whole Twitter's your hobby, not a, um, not a career thing, really did make me realize a lot about, um, about streaming, and it's just because there's no discoverability on Twitch, and Twitch doesn't want people to be discovered anymore. They're not being actively antagonistic about it, but the actual opportunity for people to actually become well-known on Twitch is basically non-existent. And unless you do something like... I think honestly that's the real sad part, is basically the only people who really gain discovered are people who are being incredibly... just immoral? Those eggs, guys, come on. Alright. Eggs are gotten. I'm gonna try and defend. Defend! Just gonna defend. Do you even think about it? Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Nope, nope. Ah, fine. I can stay there. And it's definitely a fight against each other here. Oh, here we go. They're going for it. You need to stand over there, or else we're not going to get anyone out. Here they come. Through the power of hugging, we shall win. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna... Thank you. Thank you for the egg. Anyone else want to give me an egg? Uh-oh. Oh no, he actually made it. Oh, I'm here. Put that in there. Thank you. I'll take that. 
See, it's, it's, it's the size of the nest is actually the difficult part. <laughs> the size of the nest. Like, it never feels good being that... the odd man out. For the third team. Like, if they made the nest easier to get eggs out... Because honestly, the real problem is you have to always do a running jump out of the nest to actually get out. And some people have been smart. They found a way to actually throw um, the eggs out of the nest. But you kind of need a team to actually do that. Because you can throw eggs out of the nest all day. But if you don't have someone to follow up on it, they're not going to get out of the nest. Like, completely. Here we go. Keep your tail. What? Oh, come on. Fine. How? Get out of my life. What? You are shitting me. I'm taking my tail. <laughs> I can't. What is with this grab range? Yeah, you're gonna lose your tail. Thank you. <laughs> I, I see you. Oh no. Back down on the ground. <laughs> There's an evil, an evil player there. Just repeating. Alright. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. See, Fall Mountain is always just better to climb up on the right. There's actually a lot of people for this one. I'm actually okay with that. Also, I do find it funny that there's actually a bug. Don't you try and trip me. Taking a big risk. I lost that risk there. Oh, I really have lost. I hate the fact that, like, it basically just takes one hit. One hit and you're out. That's the real problem with this game. Like, they this this is for an epic climax. Yeah, no, we're done. Like, I... It doesn't feel rewarding. It really doesn't. It's... it's it's weird that Fall Mountain is your actual shortest game. Out of all of them. Like, Fall Mountain should actually be a culmination of your races put together. It really should. Oh, I just... Oh, thank God, we're actually gonna get a crown. If I actually keep playing, we'll actually get a crown, and we can actually buy the freaking jacket. Then again, I guess I maybe should. see. I'm only worried about the whole epic skins and stuff with the crowns, is because like the rotation's so tiny, and we don't know if they're actually gonna keep coming back or if it's like, oh, this is it and it's gone. I'm actually personally amazed they didn't make these like Steam. You can't sell these items. Like, imagine if this was a workshop. 
sort of deal. Could you imagine how many people actually could make a market off of this? Not rely on other people's dumb luck. Ah, shoot. That was my fault. Well, nope. Ah, that wasn't going to work. Here's me collaborating with a pigeon. I'm trying to think what animal costume it actually would buy. This guy just wants to play it right to the end. He just wants to play it right to the end. And round over. Slime climb. Thank God I was in the front row. Maybe not. Oh my God, I have lost control of my character. How are these balls? How are these players throwing the balls over the walls? <sighs> Made it! That's how you do it. <laughs> Come on, 2137, you gotta, you gotta get in there. I swear to God, if he knocked me down, Get out of here, you too can. Don't you try and slurpy me. Sworn off the sugar. The delicious, delicious. Oh my. What? 14 14. How dare you? That's crimes. Well, they paid for their crimes. <laughs> 1982, why? Is he, no, 1414 still there. He actually was able to successfully throw someone off. Tell me, you can't trust these pigeons, man. Look at these two players. Serves him right. That serves him right. Get out of here, 1414. Nobody wanted you here, even though the player count should have actually let you out in. Because you threw another player overboard, I hope you're happy getting booted from this game. Get out. All right, I'm gonna play this my way. I, 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 I've, I've seen some people actually do the whole, I'm gonna take the entire bottom and then I win. It's not working for me though. It's not working for me. Look at all these other players. 
Actually, quite a few. <gasps> oh, I totally screwed that up. What? No, oh, come on. I'm good at playing Qbert. Does everyone here want to play Qbert? I think everyone wants to play Qbert. Really? You're gonna do that to me? He's he's gonna do that to me. <laughs> You've doomed us all. Well, um, well, this is a thing. Just gonna. Oh no! All right. Well, this is a really. <laughs> Everyone's jerks to each other. Everyone's played. See, this is why Hexagon's actually the best of the games. We're at the bottom. This is actually a problem. No! I'm still in it. I'm still in it. If I actually knew how to platform, I could actually be in it. Well, that's not gonna get me. Not yet. this to us so the question is who is the master at platforming it's me I like it because of thumbs up it's the thumbs up that sells it. We got a crown! Nice. We can... See, now I'm torn, honestly. Because getting the jacket would be pretty cool. I'm not a Hotline Miami player, but I definitely know they're basically going for all this. Oh, I actually... Where's my fitting room here? Yeah, it's already technically already. Eh. How do those pants actually look? These pants actually look better. I might actually. You know what? I'm gonna wait. And I might actually get the pants instead of the jacket. They actually look like pants I would wear. Perfectly good, comfortable pair of jeans. And apparently my waist size is over seven, is 70. Actually, are these jelly beans considered obese? Can they actually be obese? These are the questions I have in my head. It's just really hard to tell if there's actually a an opening. I'm gonna guess right. This looks like there's actually a slot open here. Okay. Take the right again, because it's an opening there. Yeah, I still see an opening. Nope! Yeah, this one. No, I, I guess not. No. Nope. It feels like this, there's a tell. But I don't think there is. Or 
or if it's or if there is a tell it's so hard to notice It's so hard to notice. I actually have to check to see how many days are left in the season, too. We'll probably make this the last game. Like I said, I, I, I get to really rethink all of my content. Like, do I want to make commentary on games, or do I want to actually play games? And it's just even about finding what people actually want to watch. Although, I think the answer is simple what people actually want to watch. They, they just want to look at someone they think is actually attractive. Or someone who can talk to their tribalistic instincts. Which usually means you need to be, to be completely de de uh, denigrating and insulting towards other people. Oh my god! That was a that was a wave of momentum that I could not fight against. There was nothing I could do against that. I almost fell off the edge just because of people pushing. Oh. Have to wait. Always get to the end. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Apparently I'm now George H.W. Bush. <laughs> this player, he, he's got his he's got his training suit on. He he's, he he can make the leaps. He can make the leaps. Just collaborate. It's that simple. And you guys can go first. I'll just, uh, I'll be right behind you. Just don't screw up. <gasps> Ooh, what are you people doing? <laughs> Come on, you damn two kids. Let's work together. All right. Are we down to the final three? The final three. Gonna go for it. Come on, are you a good boy? Are you the good boy? What are you doing? Don't brag, you're gonna get eliminated. See, I, I, I do wonder if there's actually a timer to, to slime race. Or to slime climb. Because if there's actually a timer... Like, what's going to keep people from actually getting there? Like, where, where, where's the point where you actually boot them out? More Fall Ball, and then we're probably going to have either Hexagon or Fall Mountain. I'm going to bet Fall Mountain if we survive. I think if anything, what I need to do is just start making, like, just chatting stream tutorials. That actually might just be the answer. Alright, I'm backing off, backing off. I'm going to play the halfback. Play play that defender role. Play that defender role, baby. Do it. Oh, he's got the ball. Can you get it? You can get a pirate. Get that ball out of here. Am I? Um, apparently, I'm also goalie. I'm the defender. That fits my title. That fits the title. I, I like being the defender. Get that ball out of here. Why? Oh, come on, you guys. You gotta defend it. Oh, that's gonna be harsh. Get out of here. The ball's over. 
Nope. No, you don't. You don't. They're all after the other ball. Go get them. Good, good jump, good jump. That's how that's how you use the physics. That's how you do the physics. Not how you do the physics. No! Ah, I screwed that up. Screwed that up. I don't oh my god no oh, no <laughs> These, Oh this is gonna be a long round. This is gonna be a this is a sudden death already. We made it! There's a goal! I think he actually scored it for us. Yes he did. We won! Hey, why did we get a purple? Why'd we get a purple badge? Three gold or nothing. Alright, final game. We got past Fall Ball. Yep, Fall Mountain, okay. I had a feeling there were too many players on, on both teams. See, I think this game needs like more sea this stage needs more seesaws, more treadmills, some slime. Wish I had a better way to run faster. It's gonna go the other way. It went the other way! How is there a ball all the way up there? Hit those players! I've got it! It's mine! It's mine! Watch that robot dance. Some adorable. Now we're raking in the crowns. Oh, do 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 we do we do gambler's fallacy? So how many how many days? Fifty seven days in the season. There's there's so much time. There's so much time. And I don't have any time. Yeah, gambler's fallacy. It's probably not called gambler's fallacy. I'm trying to remember what exactly it was called. I envy the people who are base who get to play this game with friends. Truly, I envy them. All right, let's get back into it. Also, the worst part is basically I'm now really into it because it's like great two wins in a row. Can I get a third, a fourth, and then a fifth? That that that's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. Sorry, I must have stepped on his shoes. Even though he's not wearing any like me. Wow, someone actually made... Wow, I'm just impressed. I'm really impressed, actually. But I will take third. Or fourth. 
One of the two. You know, actually, I think that's what I might do. I might just do... You know what? That actually is not a bad idea. Just do tutorial streams. Just go through rotation. Take some time off. Plan out. Things people should know about their applications. And do just chatting streams like that. The problem... The biggest problem is just, of course, just making it long enough. One thing I've actually always been kind of curious is how some people actually do the whole, um... No, well, I guess I'm doing a desktop picture in picture order. But I mean, like, when they show OBS, but yet their face is in it. Or in the application itself. Chances are it's probably just a, um... Video editing. Like, they just recorded themselves. Oh my god, I can't even get up. Just, just wait. A slow and steady wins this race. Low and steady wins this race. Or everyone can just be a jerk. Okay. Alright. I lost it there for a second. Fall guy! Oh, I wish I knew who you were, 5634. I know you'd be the worst of the worst. And apparently, you can jump up there, which is actually impressive. You must run with conviction and curiosity. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You jerk. <laughs> Hamburger's a menace. You need to watch out for him. He's a troublemaker. Five, six, three, four, I'm on to you. You troublemaker. They're all troublemakers. Really? Fall ball or right? Oh, well, that makes sense, actually. Oh, am I on the team of the five? I'm on the team of the four. Oh, no, it is 4v. Really? Only eight people? Okay. All right. 4v4. That's actually... Oh, this is going to be a very boring Royal Fumble, then. Go get him. I'll play defender. I believe in your ability to score. What? Oh, come on, really? Fine, it's fine. No, please, get off the pitch. There's no, not enough players to compensate. Are they gonna go all in? They went all in. It's their, pro it's a problem. It's a pro oh, they actually he actually saved it. The guy saved it. Nice job. Still anybody's game. It's still anybody's game. Oh, if they get a good punt off of that. That was a wide open shot. Get 
Get out of here. Giving you the boot. I'm a great defender. Oh. No! Ah, oh, I screwed that up. Alright, that was my fault. My bad. Sorry, guys. Can I... Yes, I can. No, I can't. Shoot. That is a problem. Many problems are happening. Alright. Oh, you... Oh, you screwed it up. Get out of here. Get those balls out of here. What? No! No! Why aren't you watching the center? Oh, watch that center. Come on, guys. That was complete bollocks. Nope, we lost. Ah, you guys are god awful players. That was a horrible performance. Then again, physics engine. I hate the physics engine in this game. Alright, so much for the five wins in a row. There was hope. There was much hope. But yeah. So, real talk here. I'm going to be re-examining my streaming and habits. And I think, if anything, I'm going to try and do something different. And I think the worst part of it all... You know the worst part of it all, honestly, that whole um, this guy's post? Is that Twitch is your hobby, not your future? He's right. I honestly think we're at a point now where basically there is no future. Not like for most people in terms of streaming. There's no up-and-comers breaking through anything, or if they are, they're coming from a completely different platform. Or they're already popular enough to begin with. I think that's really the key, is that if you want to be big on Twitch, you have to have a viewership somewhere else. Or you build up by, you know being associated with other big streamers. And I think that's really the only actual solution. And I mean, like, you're a constant guest, you're a content creator, you're the person who's putting down the contracts and stuff, and really kind of just shows just how much... Not simply streaming, but also just, like, the, not just the video game industry, but also the streaming, is just how much of a of a click it actually is. Like, obviously, it's a bunch of smaller clicks, but in general, though, it is just a club of very selective people. But, yeah, I think, if anything, I might just change my entire format in terms of content creation and find a way to make hour-long content on in terms of streaming because I think if anything like streaming is the way you connect with your fans and not the way you build up like build like connect with your viewership and not build up a viewership I think that's actually probably the best way to say that and so yeah I think if anything I just need to kind of really reduce the amount of time I actually stream on Twitch because Twitch is not the future, unfortunately. Like, I think if anything, Twitch is basically the future for people who already have an existing viewership or have an existing fan base, and they're able to cultivate it from there. Because once you can make that transition, then yeah, it can, it can actually work really well. But if you're a small-time creator... Like, it's crazy enough, just think of it this way. If you even have one other person watching you, think of it like this. If you have one other person watching you on Twitch, out of the millions of people who are streaming, you are actually, oddly enough, at that 1%. It's crazy to actually think of it like that, but that's what it actually is. And if it's that one person who doesn't, who's not even making any money from it, 
how many people do like how long will it actually take not even how how long it really is just like what do you have to do to actually get enough people to actually watch you and subscribe <clears throat> and the reality is you're not going to be able to do it on twitch you could play like i'm playing the latest game i was a beta player doesn't matter because there's no discoverability and your only real way you'd be discovered on twitch is pure numbers and that's why even people back in the day in terms of twitch the way some people actually got to be part of that make it a living is because they view bodied cheating works it's it's sad to say but yeah cheating works and i feel like that's a hard truth that nobody actually ever wants to admit in terms of the platform but yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight. Let me take a look and see who else is actually streaming at this time. Yeah, I'm just going to host Smite. He's actually playing Smite, uh, Fall Guys with some friends here, so you can enjoy more Fall Guys fun. As for me, I'm going to get back to work on um, writing the rest of my script, and hopefully I can actually start producing it. I think if anything, I might just try and make more short-term... short. I think my biggest problem in terms of content creation, I make... I'm too ambitious, and I try and actually encapsulate everything when I need to make smaller, shorter-form content. But until then, though, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.